Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of Seeing Beyond the Through with Monty. Right before you is Serena Williams, and I'm bringing up Serena Williams again because yesterday I did a video about Serena, and the video was entitled Serena Williams Identity Crisis. And this identity crisis has nothing to do with her look right here. It has everything to do with her look right here as it progressed. As you can see, we have a Serena that is very strange looking with uh, the wrong makeup, the wrong filters, photoshopping, wig, just everything is a mess. And I mentioned yesterday that I believe it stems from an inner crisis that probably happened and started in her childhood that when not taken care of or dealt with properly, it is bound to come out sooner or later. And here we are right now. But the topic today is not Serena. And this is the very beautiful Serena in all of her chocolate glory. The one that, oh, is lost now. You have to wonder, will we ever see her again? Fingers crossed. But as I've stated, it's not really about Serena. And it's not really about women. Because yes, you do have women who are doing bad makeup. That's way too light. And for some strange reason, think that it's okay. Or it even looks presentable. Or worse yet, beautiful. To be photographed with it and posting it online. But I want to give you a bit a bit of a twist because it not, it's not just women, it is men also who are going to the ninth degree with this photoshopping, with these filters, and thinking that it's okay, it's attractive, it's presentable. You really have to wonder the mindset of people who constantly do this. Now, I'm mentioning this because I am seeing a lot of it. It is not just a few people. It is quite a few. Way before the uh, pictures of Serena even posted, I'm going to stick with the men. I have noticed a lot of men, black men, who happen to be Serena's complexion. The men who you're going to see right here they are around Serena's complexion here. But they have chose to photograph themselves way far removed from that. Far and away from that. And you really have to wonder, why? You have to wonder, are black men, some of them, are they ashamed of their blackness? Do they not embrace their melanin? Is the darker hue that much of a turnoff to them? I mean, to me, this looks crazy because what it does, it takes out the features. The features are almost erased to the point where I see light but I don't see an outline of nose, of cheeks, lips, nothing, to be honest with you. I just see almost like a blank light canvas. And you have to wonder, why are so many black men going to this extent? A couple of things come to my mind. Number one, if they had children, what would they want their children color-wise to look like? Number two, how do they treat people who are darker? 
How do they treat people who are the complexion that they are before they went to this extreme length of photoshopping? No one can tell me that you are happy and proud of your melanin if you're doing this. I wouldn't use a strong word like self-hatred. I don't necessarily think that any of these men want to be white or another race. But it's obvious that they do want to be lighter. So, yes, there can be, and there is probably, some discontent with being of a darker tone, of a darker hue. This is a result of racism, where colorism is a byproduct of that, has played with people's mind. And this is not something that people can just, at a one swoop, just get over. It's almost like, like in Serena's case, she took dark pictures before, now she's taking light pictures. You have to be very vigilant. You're going to almost have to always be on the lookout and be aware of it possibly creeping back up and creeping back in to your life. Look at this beautiful dark skin man here. It's almost like people are afraid of this complexion to be this complexion. That once again, we have people who are associating being lighter with being more attractive. And obviously, this is not the case. Thank God we still have a lot of brothers like this who embrace their melanin. They're not trying to do a photo opt to opt the melanin out. They're taking pictures proudly with it. Here's another one here. If you check their Instagrams, none of their pictures are washed out. They do not try to wash their melanin away. But I do want to show you something. See as dark and beautiful as they are? I just want to play a little game with you. And this is my game. They have not done this. But I want to show you how easy it is to do this. And it took me less than a minute to transform him from this to this. And unfortunately, this is what a lot of men are doing. It's not flattering at all. This looks a thousand times more better. But to a twisted mind who's caught up into colorism, who has not gotten that type of thing fixed. This is better. Many people have a problem with this and looking like this, complexion-wise, I'm referring to. Instead, they want to look like this. Once again, this was very easy to do. Less than a minute to wash away all of this beautiful melanin. To a sick mindset, this looks better. Is more appealing. Is more presentable for so many to post online. You really have to wonder what is going on with people who would want to look like this if this is not their natural look. Now, I'm not denigrating or down or let's say um, having something against light-skinned people who are naturally light. I'm talking about people who are naturally dark, who are making themselves light. There's nothing wrong with light skin in its natural form. There's everything wrong with when you are this dark 
or when you are of a darker hue, you chose to make yourself lighter. And you keep doing it picture after picture after picture. That tells me that there is something wrong with your mentality. Yes, when you go from this to this. So I think that people really need to look inward and take a long, hard look inward and ask yourself, if I'm really proud to be black, if I'm really proud of my heritage, of where I come from, I'm proud of my melanin. Why would I go on a social media platform, go from this to this, and be so happy to post it? Make no mistake about it. If you look like this, and you choose to post this, you have some inner workings to do. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that is another edition of Seeing Beyond and Through with Monty, and I will see you beyond and through.